renew your mind. There's nothing that can stop you. <laughs> Let's say you're listening to the radio and a song comes on. Well, it's really trying to stop you. And you say, well, I need to turn the channel on that one. There's another song that comes on. Did you change the channel? Uh, I don't like that. I don't understand that at all. So you learn to change the channel. Maybe you change the wavelength as well to AM. Oh, no, more talk radio. I don't need that. I need ads. You know how to change the channel on your radio. You know how to change the channel on your TV. You know how to uh, change the websites on your computer or on your phone. A pop-up comes up you don't like and you go surf somewhere else. The same thing goes with your mind. Your mind is a receiver. Yes, it is a transmitter to the world, but it is also a receiver. Today we're going to talk about renewing the mind. How to do it. Now, if you've watched any of my videos before, anytime there is a how question, the answer is always, first of all, who. So, who are you? <laughs> well, you are the son of Abba, the bride of Christ, the temple of the Holy Spirit. You're one spirit with the Lord. Your spirit thinks and transmits to your mind. Your mind receives certain thoughts from your spirit. The good thoughts, the acceptable thoughts, the perfect thoughts, the thoughts of love, joy, peace, all of the good things. We're supposed to think on these things. These are coming from ourself indeed, and we can rejoice and celebrate in those thoughts. The mind is receiving from the spirit the good things. But not every thought that enters your head comes from you. Some thoughts come from the outside. You are not a sinner anymore. You are a saint and sin is not inside you, dwelling in your members, trying to get out. Sin is on the outside, trying to get in. So we need to learn to realize, hey, my mind is receiving spirits. It's either receiving my spirit, one spirit with the Lord, or it's receiving spirits from the outside, broadcasting, trying to get inside my head. And think about people with spiritual problems and mental problems as well often they're hearing voices in their head and those thoughts are entering their head and they think where are these coming from are these from me <laughs> am i thinking this because i'm hearing voices there's nothing to laugh about at all but they are sensitive to the transmissions of the prince of the power of the air that is the enemy the devil himself is a broadcaster <laughs> He's a media man, a media devil that he is, and he's trying to get inside our heads by transmitting ideas, emotions, feelings, all kinds of things. He's trying to con us, get us to buy his philosophy of life. So he sends ideas our way, fear, anger, shame, guilt, lust, greed, all these terrible things come from the enemy. They're coming from the outside. The enemy is broadcasting at us, trying to get in, seeing if we'll buy his product. And if we keep listening, tuning in, he'll keep broadcasting all the more. 24 hours a day in stereo. He likes to do that because he wants to destroy our minds. He wants to destroy our bodies through the mind. And we need to learn to shut that radio station down. Turn that TV channel off. Get off that web page. So we can learn to do that by renewing our minds. So we renew our minds daily by simply doing this. Renew. Renew. Your mind is new. I have a new mind. I have the mind of the new creation. I have the mind of Christ Jesus himself. I have his mind. I think as Jesus thinks. I think for my spirit. I am one with the Holy Spirit, one with Jesus and Abba. Those are good thoughts. Those are true thoughts coming from me of a renewed mind, a good mind, a perfect mind, an acceptable mind. This is what Paul says. He says, be not conformed to this world. You're not a conformer, but be transformed. You are a transformer. 
by the renewing of the mind so that you may be able to prove what is the good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. I like that. Good, acceptable, perfect. G-A-P. The gap has been filled. <laughs> you don't have a hollow mind. You have the full mind of Christ, the fullness of the Godhead living inside your body. The gap has been filled. The good, you are good. Because God is good, he has made you good in his image and likeness acceptable you are acceptable because god has accepted you and he is always acceptable your mind is good it is acceptable and it is perfect as well he has perfected it himself by jesus because you have his mind as simple as that so focus on the good acceptable and perfect things of life be in communion with abba jesus and holy spirit all the time on that wavelength always listening to them, always in communion with them. Everything you do is in communion with them anyway, whether you realize it or not. And then you learn to block out the wavelength of the enemy. That, ah, uh, there he is again. Okay. You have a new mind, the mind of Christ. So use that new mind, change the channel, and the more you learn to change the channel, then the old transmissions will end. You probably don't listen to a lot of AM radio anymore. The wavelength is pretty well cut off. Maybe FM as well. You don't listen to the radio simply because you realize, hey, I don't need to do that anymore. I've got something else, another device I can use. The same thing goes with your mind. You have a totally new device that is being used. Your mind is being used by your spirit. It is in coordination with your spirit. It is good, it is acceptable, and it is perfect. I love you, good, accepted, and perfect brother and sister in Christ Jesus, the beloved of Abba Father, the one full of the Holy Spirit.